Hello everyone and welcome back to Coronavirus Corner. We didn't have as many screens on our Zoom last night because some people were sat together. Eric had his arm round Maureen and they looked so comfy and right. Mandy and the vicar were sat on her sofa looking very relaxed with a tube of Pringles and a tub of guacamole. Charles was a bit late and then when his screen popped up sat next to a lovely looking woman. She had really delicate little ears and dangly earrings. I felt all hot but I tried to keep my face straight because you're always in close upon Zoom. The vicar asked how we're all doing especially those of us who aren't in bubbles and I said I was all right but it did feel a bit funny to see folks sat together although it was lovely and he nodded. And then Charles said, I do hope you don't mind me bringing my sister. His sister? I had to try not to look relieved. I know it's ridiculous me having thoughts of a bishop, but he's just so nice. Anyway, Lydia's on her own as well, so she's moved in with him and she's brought her cockapoo, Antonio, who loves Charles and kept jumping on his knee and knocking the camera. We talked about how we can support each other. We're going to have a barbecue in Mandy's garden. It's big enough for five of us, so that'll be nice. And Charles said he'd had a lovely letter from someone the other day, which had really lifted his spirits. And I suddenly realised he meant me. I felt all embarrassed again. I'll have to wear a mask on Zoom if I keep blushing. Anyway, he was glad I wrote. So that's nice. The vicar said it was lovely having a meal cooked for him. And it had got him thinking about how Jesus seemed to like cooking for folk and how he seemed to invite himself round for dinner quite a bit too. And Mandy laughed and asked if he thought Jesus had thirds as well. And he blushed. And then he said we sometimes bang on about God until people's ears are bleeding when all they really need to know is that they can always be in God's bubble if they want. I like that. Old Patrick said he didn't think God would want him in his bubble because he snores louder than a pneumatic drill and that made us laugh. And Charles said he thinks God's bubble is a lot bigger than folks suspect. And then Lydia said, could we stop talking about God because she was here to have fun? And we were all a bit shocked until she winked and Charles punched her. And Antonio jumped up and licked his nose. Marjorie said it was wonderful hugging her family again. I bet it was. I think I'll see if Patrick and Sharon would like a coffee later. I'll crack open the hobnobs. Today's sensible tip is don't resent other people's happiness. It shows on your face and you don't want to emerge from lockdown with a face like Victoria Beckham in a chocolate factory. You take care, stay safe and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye.